Rwanda has been pushing an incredibly ambitious but so far incredibly successful digital transformation program. Um, a key component of the technologies which they've talked about has been blockchain. So as a blockchain engineering company, um, I think Rwanda is an economy which uh, already has the government support to be able to actually implement the technology and that makes it very interesting from, from a speed of implementation perspective. It's been incredibly illuminating to talk to some of the um, the leading figures here. Um, so today we had uh, a really good introductory conversation with the Minister of Environmental Affairs. Um, and yeah, from that dialogue and from that debate, you start to learn about what are the issues which are facing Rwanda. Because whilst our technology is general and can be built to many different industries and many different applications, you have to start by understanding what the problems are here. So we've been speaking to um, yeah, many, many different people, um, both in the private sector, in government, um, to try to understand what problems we should be solving. And I think we've got some good ideas. In much the same way that Ethiopia is an incredibly interesting country for um, any technology service provider because of the potential to deploy your technology at huge scale, 100 million people. Um, equally, Rwanda is a very interesting country because of the ability to, um, to run trial projects at a smaller scale. You know, Rwanda has a population of 10 million people, an incredibly progressive, technology-interested government. Um, it makes it very interesting as a place where we can look to run trial projects in a contained project space.